all right you guys welcome back to a new vlog um i always say that and then i'm like they really just ain't seen me in like less than like eight hours but um it is wednesday the 24th it is grocery shopping day um i spent the morning in god's word i listened to a few podcasts i'm trying to get into the habit of oops i'm in drive of starting the morning with um faith-based uh podcast you know like just some encouragement and my walk as a mother like that's really what I want to focus on this next month of June is just like being a better mom being a more calm mom being like learning how to be like authoritative but calm like I don't know like I'm just trying to learn how to do all those things because I just don't like the mom that I am right now I mean that's okay for me to say I'm not saying I'm a bad mom I mean I could be doing a lot worse I just wish I was a lot more calm and not so overwhelmed all the time so I'm just trying to do things to work on that but um yeah so that's how I started my morning then I went into the word and then I edited because my blog from last week which was I believe Thursday and Friday so the 18th and the 19th I started editing it on Wondershare my Filmora app and then like it would not import the clip like the full clips like it was cutting them off like I tried, like I tried everything. I tried checking to see if my computer needed an update. I tried checking to see if the app needed an update. So I ended up having to start from scratch when I was already like halfway done editing. Once I realized, like, hey, like these aren't the full clips, I ended up having to move everything over to iMovie. So that vlog was actually edited in iMovie. You guys, let me know if you like it, um, <laughs> or if you can tell the difference between iMovie and Filmora. Like, like, let me know what you guys think. I am going to try Filmora one more time for the earlier days in this week, so for Monday and Tuesday. If it doesn't work, like I'm just going to stop paying for it. I will not pay for it again because if I'm going to have to use iMovie, then I can be saving that ten dollars a month and that forty or that eighty dollars a year. So y'all know what I mean. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to stop for food first because it's terrible to grocery shop hungry. So we're going to go to Sonic, and then we're going to go to Walmart, and then we're going to go to Costco because we are executive members at Costco, and we got our yearly cash back check. So we get a little bit of money off from the things that we're going to get at Costco. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys later. All right, you guys, we're here at Walmart. I got all the way to the door, and then I was like, oh. And then I was like, oh, I forgot my list. So we went back and got the list. So I'm going to have to stick to it. Our budget's a little tight these two weeks, so really got to stick to this. Yeah, I'm finally back home five hours later. I'm finally about to put up all the groceries, all the groceries. Um... I pretty much got the usuals, but yeah. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you Yeah, Maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness 
give and we take the love that we make it's my favorite drug too caught up in your love i've been trying to forget but you won't let all right you guys so here's a little overview we got two cases of water eggs two gallons of milk um the boys healthy cereal which just really no colors or dyes um brownie mix apples and caramel got some frozen veggies um ground beef salmon chicken i have steak somewhere i gotta find it where'd the steak go um oh steak's right here steak and then Aluminum foil, parchment paper, ranch, two things of ramen, trash bags, face wash, got some hair oils, vitamin E and jojoba, um, body wash and deodorant for Brian, mouthwash, we got toast, got some carpet freshener, some for, for breeze, some glass cleaner, some OxyClean pizza rolls. Mm. This was one of the few, only one of the olive oil no stick spray, disinfectant wipes, um, American cheese, Swiss cheese, uh, chewy bars, we got squash, zucchini, and then like I said steaks, we got this challenge whipped butter, it was cheaper than all the other spreadable butters, got this blue bunny sauce because I have a cash back thing for that. Got these two salads that whenever Brian wants to take a salad, I'll make these and split one up between me and him. Two breakfast sandwich things, one French toast. Got the boys fun cereal. They get like this like once a week. Grapes, strawberries, red onion, yellow onion, boxed juices, cucumbers, minced garlic, Doritos, Doritos, apples. Um, these fruit and veggie pouches, protein shakes, maple syrup, caramel waters, and potatoes. So yeah, it's pretty much just the usual, so I'm tired. I'm going to get this put up. Alright you guys, so it's been an hour. I did finish putting up all the groceries. Um, I have a vlog uploading right now, but because I had to upload it from iMovie, like I saved it through iMovie for whatever reason. This is a whole. Re this is another reason why I wanted a different editing app. Was because whenever I would edit and then like save to iMovie and then like upload the video file from my computer to YouTube, like it takes hours. But with Wondershare, like it wouldn't take hours. So I'm really hoping like it was just something weird that was going on with those files and. From here on out, I can go back to using Wondershare because I don't like that it's taking so long. I really don't. So, here's to hoping, you guys. But it's going up, so that's the good thing. It's just already been uploading for about an hour, and it's only at, like, 17%. So, we're just... This is a very humbling process. It reminds me where I started and that I should stop complaining so much. But I'm going to rest you guys. Um, so I probably won't vlog anymore today. But I will see you guys tomorrow for sure. For sure. I don't even know if I'm going to keep the car tomorrow. I'm so tired. We may have to skip our library day tomorrow. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just going to lay here on my phone and just be while the kids are out the house because Brian went to the gym and he took the boys with him. I told him, I said, I'm not going to the gym. I'm tired. I got to get these groceries put up. Like, I'm not going. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm starting my morning chore. It is Thursday, so I have exactly one hour to get my chore done, get ready, and get the boys up and fed. So I want to try to get my chores done within like 15, 20 minutes. So I'm about to get the mop water to boil because I did not mop yesterday. Yesterday, my big chore was grocery shopping, and I'm okay with that. Somehow, Wednesdays became my grocery shopping day, so I don't know. That's, that's just what happens. Life happens, but we're going to go ahead and start mopping. Well, I need to get this dishwasher going. I did not clean up last night because, y'all, when I tell y'all my back hurt, 
from grocery shopping yesterday, like my back was hurting. Hurting my back. Alright you guys, it's already been 20 minutes, so that's fine now because it's only going to take me about 10 to mop, so probably take me about a 30 minutes to do my chores today, that's fine, that is completely okay, I also want to wash the towels today, you know I love using natural things, but sometimes they just don't smell the way I need them to smell, and I did not clean my bucket out right the last time I mopped. And it's so discouraging to mop recently because it's been raining so much. All right, y'all. Now I just got to mop and then straighten up the living room. I'm also going to move my computer back to the office finally. I'm getting tired of it the way it looks right there. So I'm about to move that back to my office right now. And then I'll start mopping. Oh, she's going to be cold, so you got to put clothes on her. Uh-oh, you stuck this in the wrong spot, baby. Good job. Why are you stepping like you're cool? Ethan, don't be mean. Hey, do you think it's hot or cold at a beach? Cold. It's hot at a beach. Do you think they're hot or cold? I don't know. Do you eat them hot or cold? Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. I can't. You're doing so good, Kimmy. Flyball's going to be cold. What, what is he going to wear to the beach? Kimmy, be cold. Kimmy, be cold. Okay, you want to finish it at home? Can we get pain? Yeah. Can get it hot, but let's put it over here. The hot. Where it's cold because you put a jacket on her. No, that's her. That's her stuff. But Mommy, look. I don't know if you got her because his butt will freeze. Mom, let's forget this shoes. All right, you guys. So as you've seen, we made it to the library. <laughs> we made it just in time to read two out of the three stories with them. And now we're going to go get the car wash because 
King has um, speech therapy at 12. So that's what we're going to head to do right now is go get the car washed and vacuumed oh, out. Boy, boy, you get a um, so, um, yeah, but story time was good today. We were kind of in and out. We weren't there very long today. The boys were kind of just like, okay, we're done with like, they did like part of their craft and then they're like, okay, I want to go pick out books. Okay, we're ready to go. So I was like, alrighty then, we're go, go, go today. But um, yeah, so we're about to go get a car wash and then head to the house for a bit. All right, you guys, so King has had his speech therapy. We are currently having lunch. I'm having, we're, we are all having some leftover pasta salad. Like, that's the boy's main dish is leftover pasta salad. So that's what they're having. I'm going to eat this last little bit as well as I made smothered chicken Tuesday night for dinner. Yeah, for Tuesday night for dinner, I ended up making smothered chicken, and I didn't finish my serving. So that is what I'm going to end up eating right now. Ooh. So, yeah, so just a little bit of smothered chicken and rice, and that is my lunch. So I'm going to have this lunch. Um, I'm going to take my lunch to the office because I have some things that I really need to get done on YouTube, get some stuff uploaded. I think that needs to be heated up a little bit more. So, yeah. So I will see you guys afterwards. Or I do need to go pick up Ethan's glasses today. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because I forgot to go back and get them yesterday. So I'm going to go pick those up after we're done with lunch. All right, you guys. Lunch has been eaten. Video has been uploaded and shared and posted. If you haven't already, go follow me on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram. All of it is in the description box. We are, do not open that door. I did not tell you we were leaving yet. Um, Optimus has been fed. Dishes have been put into the dishwasher. Now we're going to go get Ethan's glasses because I forgot them yesterday and then we'll come back home. <laughs> Alright you guys, we're using the flash because I'm in the office and it's super dark. I know we haven't talked since I believe I went to pick up Ethan's glasses. I have been editing ever since we got back at like 2.30. I finished at 7 um, and that's just because we had to leave again to go pick up Brian from work at 5 and that took about like 20-25 minutes. Um, and then I got up to cook dinner. I made lemon pepper crusted chicken bites and I'm making some green beans with that and some instant mashed potatoes. Um, I did get my video done so right now I am making the thumbnail for it and it will be up tomorrow. So I'm glad that I can kind of rest, take a break until we get back from uh, getting my son on Saturday. So. I don't have to work tomorrow. I can kind of just mentally prepare, or I could still edit tomorrow because I won't have the car. We don't. I don't have any big chores. Like maybe I'll edit again tomorrow. We shall see. We shall see. But I just wanted to update you guys, let you guys know how things were going. This flash is really, really bright. Um, and then I'll show you guys dinner. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. Hold on, let me show you the computer. And yeah, so I'm making the thumbnail. And then, like I said, oh, of course, of course it's loading, but you can see right there. I'm on YouTube. Oh, look, there it goes. <laughs> Forgot I asked it to do that. But, um, let me just select a random picture. So, yeah, you can see here, I am uploading, so. We were very productive today. Also, the editing app that I work for started that I, that I work for that I pay for started working today so I think I have figured out how I need to import the footage and I have decided if you watched the last vlog I have decided I'm going to save up and buy a new mic so there's that too all right you guys this is dinner I made these little um, crusted chicken things. They were supposed to be like fillets, but I didn't think like, not fillets, I don't know, like patties, like a chicken fried chicken. But I didn't think the boys would eat them, and I didn't want to take the time to cut them after I cooked them, so I just cut them up now. Um, gravy, mashed potatoes, green beans. I cannot wait to eat.
Good morning, you guys. It is Friday the 26th, and as you see, we woke up to some rain this morning. And not just rain, like thunderstorm pouring down rain. Like, it don't even look like 8 o'clock in the morning. It looks like 6, 7 p.m. But um, I love it. I'm here for it. I pray that the Lord, like, just lets this happen all day long. Even when Brian gets home, because when my boo gets home, like, we got to cuddle. He has to go to work today. And then we're going to be on the road all day tomorrow. So, Lord, give us either this evening or all day Sunday to just cuddle up <laughs> while it rains. And oh, it's going to be so beautiful. But, um, yeah, good morning, everyone. I don't have much planned for today. Oh, it's about to thunder. The thunder's not. Thunder's not too intense today. Like, sometimes we have some thunder where it scares me. But, um, I am already ready for the day. Makeup is done, even though it don't look too great today. And then, um... What was I gonna say? Oh, I did my... I listened to my podcast this morning as I was getting ready. Um, my faith-based podcast. I've been listening to Emma's for Mama and the Joy Field podcast, and I love both of those. If you're like in a season where you just want to be like a better mom and things like that, like you just want to be like that calm mom, like. So I listen to those right now, but I'm about to do my daily devotion on TikTok, and then I'm going to do my read and write the word and my um, gospel centered gospel centered motherhood, and just kind of like enjoy the rain. So yeah, good morning. Alright you guys, it has stopped raining, like there's like no rain, but I just checked the forecast on my phone, and it looks like it's supposed to rain all day, so God is faithful. I'm gonna get them some doubles in with my boot. Look, it's even brighter, like even the footage looks so much better. <laughs> um, I tried out some new blush and bronzer, and I feel like it's already gone, so... could be the lighting it could be the lighting but I'm gonna go look in a mirror I also gotta use the bathroom the boys are getting up I think I might uber eat something because I don't feel like cooking anything I don't know but I have like a very specific craving for certain things and if I don't eat that like I'm not gonna eat but I am hungry I don't know we'll see all right guys Alright you guys, so the sun ended up coming out. I have been fussing and just dealing with the boys all day. They have literally, they were literally putting their laundry up from 11.30 to, I want to say like 2 o'clock. Their room was a disaster and so I finally just called Brian and I was like, hey, like the boys, like they're not listening to me, they're not doing... Like, I, I don't care what anybody says. Like, I'm like a child when it comes to telling all my kids to my husband. And that's what I did. I told all my kids to my husband. So he came home for lunch and he just got onto them. He didn't get onto them. He just had a talk with them and was like, look, your mom keeps telling me this stuff. Like, it's going to be y'all. It's going to be you and me when I get home. Like, your mom's done dealing with it. Because I am. And I'm starting to learn that, especially Ethan especially Ethan is getting to that age where he needs discipline from Brian and not me. Like, I think right now Ethan needs, I don't know what Ethan needs from me. I think he just needs my time right now and to feel loved is like any child does. And I'm not saying that I neglect them, but what Ethan seeks from me is not direction. He seeks that from Brian, and so I feel like the more I try to give him direction, the more he goes against the grain, so I'm just going to continue to love on him, nurture him, and I believe when boys are young, like Bryson's age and younger, because I would say I'd started seeing this change in Ethan when he was about on the older side of six years old, so even little Brian, like I'm pretty sure when he gets here and then knowing the situation that he's in with his biological mom, like I know he's probably going to seek that. I know he's he's going to be in the same spot as Ethan. 
seeking the guidance from his father, but more so, especially little Brian, is going to be seeking like the love and comfort and oh, this is what my, you know, what home should look like. This is just, I think that that's what, they're looking for everything that they should be looking for in a woman right now. I believe when little boys are young, like I said, like five years old and younger, is whenever they're really, like moms are able to lead and guide them and discipline better. But I promise you, like boys just hit an age where it's like moms just have to surrender. And that's where I'm at with my boys. Like I cry out to God every day because you guys, I have some hard days with them. And there's some days where I'm like, how, like... I'm not saying it's okay, and I'm so thankful for the heart and the mind that God has given me, but I can see how women who have no support system, who don't have any firm foundation to stand on, why they lose it, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not saying I want to lose it, but I'm saying, like, I can understand the frustration of those women. If I'm not talking about innocent children. I'm not, well, all children are innocent. What am I trying to say, okay? So children that are just like, just constantly going against the grain, constantly doing what they're not supposed to do, like just, my church likes to call them strong-willed. <laughs> I have a strong-willed one. I feel like my child that's in their strong-willed season alternates, alternates all the time. Like I used to firmly believe that Bryson was my strong-willed child, and he still has some aspects of that, but... I feel like Ethan is stepping into like just being his own little young man and I'm just like I don't I don't know what to do with this like I all I'm trying to say is like I can see why mothers who have no support system and have no foundation with Christ why they fall into the traps that they fall into because I have to just tell the boys hey mommy needs a moment at least two to three times a day and just cry by myself because I don't know what else to do when they're not listening, when, you know, this is piling on top of this and that is piling on top of that. And I just cry out to God, cry a few tears, and then I come out of it and then I'm, I'm mommy again. Like, okay, let's play. Let's read books. And then three hours later, they're back to being disobedient. They're back to biting each other's head off. They're back to not listening. They're back to just doing whatever they want to do and I'm crying again because not that I'm not disciplining in those moments but that's why I have to go to God because it's like I'm doing all that I can I've disciplined all that I can and it's like I don't want to hurt my children I don't want to cause trauma to my children so like I have to step away and I have to bring Brian in because Brian is so calm like and even with me when I've had my melt you know I've had some meltdowns I have had some meltdowns I have had some breakdowns but he's so calm. He's so soft spoken. He's very passionate. And I'll say when he gets passionate, his voice gets loud, but he's not yelling. But even in his passion, like he's gentle. And I just God God bless that man for dealing with me. Cause <laughs> dealing with me, dealing with these kids. Oh, I could never be a man. I could never be a man and have to deal with what some of these men, especially with me and my sisters. The men and mine and my sister's lives, I'm just like, God bless y'all. God bless y'all. Y'all get y'all y'all deserve everything you ask God for dealing with us. But um yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here though. Um I just wanted to say that I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. I'm about to lay down and rest. Um I'm about to give the boys their sleepy times. And then they are going to lay down and rest. Um, I kind of need, I feel like my makeup is gone. I don't know. But anyways, I'm just going to lay down and rest. I still don't know what I'm going to cook for you. You're probably guessing. We'll probably all just look in our refrigerator and eat something that we can find. We got salad, pizza, pizza rolls, sandwiches. Like, we got it all. So that's probably what we're going to do for dinner. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. I love you guys. I always remember that Jesus loves you more.